Hey there, I'm Daniel, and today we're going to fix a little suspension issue. Now, everybody who rides one of these uh, uh, Chrysler vehicles has one of these things all along the collar of the suspension, but it's made out of plastic, and what happens is they just get weak. So, I got a solution, hopefully. Let's see how this works. So the first thing I noticed, they seem to be made pretty well. Um, they have two holes per side, so four bolts are required. Um, the bolts are in different lengths, so we need to be careful where that goes. So the first thing I noticed there, my uh, cross tower brace bar is in the way. So I tried off camera to put it together, there's just no way. I understand there is a version of these from another seller on Facebook uh, from the Ukraine. And he has all the bolts going in from the same side. Whereas this, you need to be able to access it from every side. So if you have one of those crossbars, these you have to remove so that, that crossbar because you just won't be able to get to it. So let's start taking it apart. So right here you can see this was already a little bit of struggle. The part is really loose and I couldn't get grip with the screwdriver to pry it properly apart. So if you tighten the two screws on the one side, you'll be able to rotate it to the other side and then you can access the front two screws to make it easier on you because the one in the back is really hard to get to. Then you just have to tighten the ones in the front properly and the collar is going to be nice and tight. So right around here I realize I got all cut up by something sharp. Just wear some gloves, save yourself some hassle. So while the shock tower brace is out, I decided to polish away some of the water stains that were on it. I use a little bit of abrasive product that we usually use to clean some glass, but I thought I'll do it here because that's all I had. Probably your best bet is to use some polish and get that polished out and to shine like brand new.
Well, there you go. It would have only taken about five to 10 minutes if I wouldn't have the strut tower brace, but I don't regret my decision in the past because it works perfectly. And with this, even the little wiggle, I was able to just rotate it by hand with it in a fully closed position. With the new ones, there's no wiggle room whatsoever. So after taking a test drive, usually over speed bumps, I heard a little clunking sound here and there. That's only on the road. What about the off-road guys with the Cherokees, which is essentially the same car? Um, they're hitting the bumps all the time going off-roading, so that must drive them crazy. This will probably fix 99, if not 100%, of your issues so go ahead grab one i got mine from mfc off-road uh, i heard there's another guy a ukrainian guy who's selling that stuff on facebook and i was told all four bolts are on the same side which is going to be a lot easier to assemble especially if you have a strut tower brace not sure if that's an integrity issue because you have the bolts all on one side rather than pushing together from both sides if I had to buy it, I'd probably buy this one, even if I had the uh, Cherokee, but that's just me. Get yours, it's definitely worth the upgrade. If you like my content, hit the subscribe button. I'll be posting more content this year. Uh, until then, take care.